Welcome everyone, we're here with a new Project Winter update and possibly the spookiest patch yet. Now, there have been rumors floating around that there's going to be a new role added to Blackout, and now, because it's Blackout, I'm guessing it's gonna have to be something sinister, right? Maybe something... undead? <coughs> anyway, right, Blackout changes. Oh dear Christ. Wait, what? Look at what? A flaming eye? Are you okay? Oh, there! Yeah, that's, um... Uh, I don't quite know. Hey, you! Hello! A soul for me! Sorry, what? Souls will be mine. Sorry, I can't quite hear you from down here. <laughs> <coughs> I'm the necromancer. What the hell's a necromancer? Eh, uh, well, people don't like being dead, so instead of staying dead, I put myself inside them, and they come back to life as another me. You do what? Uh... I make new necromancers. I don't think he's using that word properly. Anyway, there you have it, the new role, the necromancer. <laughs> oh god! That was almost exciting. Ugh, ah, that little shit got me. Where am I? Ah well, I guess that was the necromancer. Apparently they're able to convert dead bodies into other necromancers, and they gain stats for each player converted. Oh Stellar! Thank god you're here! Pick me up! Uh, Stellar? Hello? Why can't I move? I hate you! God damn it, Stellar. I guess I shouldn't have trusted him not to use the traitor's new ability. It's called Bleed. It can be channeled on down players to quietly kill them instead of having to bash their little heads in. Wait, Steve? What are you doing out here? Just chillin'. But it's a blizzard! Yeah, so? It's freezing out here! And? Ugh, I don't have time for this. I have other stuff to explain. Hmm, I wonder what his problem was. Alright, now that I'm out of the cold, let's move on to the new passive information gain for traders. That's right, the traders have teamed up with Facebook to acquire all your personal information, slowly. There are two stages to this. Five hours later. The first stage will permanently display the survivor's health bar, and the last stage will permanently display their role. Wait, why is it still going? Oh no. The prettiest survivor of them all. What the f- Cut! 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 <laughs> <clears throat> now, other than learning your deepest, darkest secrets, the traders are going to slowly be able to increase their warmth and hunger for every 10 passive credits gained for being near survivors. God, look how smug he looks. To add to that, traders are going to be able to gain stats from trapping and sabotaging the objectives as well. Now you're probably thinking, wow, Jason, that's going to be really strong with remote sabotages. And well, you're wrong. As you can see here, the traders do not gain these stat bonuses from remote sabotages, and it doesn't stop there. Although the traders have physically touched the objective, the delayed sabotages will not grant these bonuses either. So you must physically sabotage the objective in order to gain these stats. Now... You've probably been watching and noticing these tiny little numbers above the first objective and thought, wow, that's neat. I agree. After visiting the objective once, you'll be able to see the progress of all parts within that objective when nearby. And lastly, we have the new map sabotage. Sick of the survivors only having three potential options for the second objective? Well, let's spice things up with this new sabotage as traders can now add two new potential locations each. This sabotage can be used before the first objective is completed, and after the first objective is completed. One is much more noticeable than the other. If people are around. Alright everyone, I have an important announcement. Apparently the snowshoes were not going as fast as intended, so they've added some sort of jet-fueled sole to the bottom of the shoe, and now we can all go Mach 2. Also, a few other bug fixes and tweaks.
increased the spawn chance for snowshoes and trader crates. Nice. That's cool. Decrease the spawn chance for snowshoes and bunkers. Oh, so you can still get the snowshoes and bunkers, just not the free bunkers. And you can still travel at Mach 2. All right, and that's all we got for the uh, bug fixes and tweaks. And actually, that's all we got for this video. So thank you for watching, and have a good one, everyone. Please see the description for the other bug fixes and balancing.